Okay, next news. Thailand could become the second Asian country to legalize same-sex unions. In Thailand, Thailand could be the first Southeast Asian country to permit same-sex unions. While not explicitly condoning LGBTQ marriage, as a cabinet-approved bill heads to parliament for legalization. Though the bill doesn't endorse same-sex marriage, it allows same-sex couples to adopt children and merge finances, including inheritances. Quote, this is an important step for Thailand in creating equality for everyone and guaranteeing rights for same-sex couples to start a family. Uh, Rachada Dumderek, a spokesperson for the Thai government, told Bloomberg magazine or newspaper. Um, so what, what, why was this banned and what grounds was this banned before? Um, I don't, doesn't really go into why it was banned to begin with. I'm assuming just general bigotry, um, and religious sentiment, which is where most of these things come from. Um, yeah. And it's not marriage, right? And same sex unions. And so there's still a lot of progress to be made. This, um, bill hasn't been passed yet. It hasn't been ratified into law. But this is really good progress because I know, at least in the state that I grew up in, um, they had unions first and then marriage came. So if this bill gets ratified, I think that it's going to be just a matter of time before it's full-blown marriage. Um, okay, so like Thailand is extremely Buddhist country, right? So... Like, is there anything in Buddhism? I was in Thailand and, you know, I think um, I've noticed it's a bit sexist because of Buddhism and people want to deny that, but it's true. Uh, but is there anything, anything when it comes to Buddhism and same-sex um, marriage, it does, is there rel are they related in any way? But I mean, from I don't know much about uh, uh, the Buddhism in Thailand, but from what I know, uh, there's this uh, Buddhist culture in Thailand which believes that, uh, like karma, the concept of karma is also a thing in Buddhism, borrowed from Hinduism. So by that, they believe that uh, homosexual attraction or urges are a result of doing bad things in the previous life or something. And as a karma, you are getting this bad urges. Uh, of homosexuality and everything. So this is a culture there is. I don't know if it's the majority culture or anything. Wait, I just what? know that this exists. Where in Buddhism is that? I mean, I, I just learned it like in Thai, there's a Buddhist culture which believes this. And I know oh, okay. karma is there. So that's this is all I know about it. I cannot Ruska? say if it's genuine or if it's like the major culture in Thailand. Ruska. So... Um, Thailand legalized, you know, homosexuality. They stopped making it illegal, uh, you know, private conduct between same-sex people in, like, 56, you know. Mm. So they've been pretty modern when it comes to just acceptance of people being gay. It's the not having the legal protections and being able to adopt kids and potential discriminations that... Um, you know, heterosexual, you know, they're subject to more discrimination than heterosexual couples. And I think that may just be because it's just, people hadn't thought, I think, about, you know, marriage and kids and all the, first you wanted to have it not be a mental illness, make it legal. I mean, these things are just happening and that is a more traditional society. I don't know if it's, religion it just seems like things are happening pretty fast and the fact that they've been you know it's been not a mental illness and been pretty um uh, okay by you know in private conduct people weren't getting arrested for it and also in 2017 thailand was named the second gay second most gay friendly place beside behind tel aviv Mm. Interesting. So it's kind of like a gay tourist haven hmm. in a that's lot what, of ways. That's one thing they talk about in this article. They reference this report in 2014 on 
LGBT culture in Thailand. They say today's Thailand is contradictory. It is one where the tourism authority actively promotes the image of Thailand as a gay paradise, but where discussions of sexuality and society are still taboo and there's limited sex education in schools. I have to say gay friendly place in Asia. Sorry, mm. not in the world or whatever. I, I forgot that part. Yeah, second I was going to like Canada would be more gay friendly, I think, than Thailand. But second, gay, you know, most oh. gay friendly city in Asia after Tel Aviv. Okay, okay. Um, one of the comments on Facebook saying, I'm surprised they weren't legal already. Anyone who's been to Thailand knows they're very liberal about this stuff. Lady boys abound and they'll they're totally accepted by the society at large. Um, I, I do want to mention that Thailand seems to have something close to blasphemy laws, though, as much as people want to say they're liberal and stuff. You can't disrespect Buddha. I don't know if it's the law or not, but there's signs everywhere, at least, telling you... Well, I mean, okay, first of all, you can't disrespect the royal family. That's the real religion there, before Buddhism. But there are signs everywhere also that says that you cannot disrespect the Buddha, I don't know what level of enforcement they're going, is involved with that, but that's technically blasphemy laws. So, you know, for me, it's very interesting to see, like, Buddhism have its own version of blasphemy. Because um, for a lot of people in the West, Buddhism seems to be extremely tolerant. And also, it's very, it's very sexist. You know, everywhere we went, everywhere we went, they kept on, there were guards chasing my wife with whistles and stuff. You can't expect, you can't enter this holy ground. Your legs are showing. And I was like, my legs are showing. I'm wearing shorts as well. Like, why are you? <laughs> but nobody bothered with me, right? So, and, the, you know, Buddhism, like, apparently, Buddhists, in, they are also very uh, offended by women's skin, just like Abrahamic religions. Shobham, you want to say something? Yeah, well, first of all, f about the comment you just read, um, the term ladyboy can be considered as offensive by many trans people, but uh, I want to like say that there are some people in Thailand and Philippines, like in Thailand, they are called Katoes, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, but in Philippines and Thailand, I know many people who identify themselves as ladyboys, so I don't know it's maybe mostly to western people it's offensive but i have seen people who identify themselves with this term so i just wanted to clarify that just because some people might get offended and also yeah the sexist part like there are so many misogynist uh, uh, verses and buddhist pictures and i know so many most buddhists i know disagree with me like uh, many buddhists including soraya in the live chat loves buddhism and we disagree on this and um, they say that, oh no, Buddha wasn't misogynist or anything. It's just the people after him. And we don't even know whether Buddha existed or not. There's no solid evidence for him. So for all we know, it is a very sexist religion. I have an answer to your question about blasphemy in Thailand, by the way. Go on. Okay, so firstly, like the highest form of blasphemy that you can do in Thailand is against the king. It's yeah. very dangerous. Very, very dangerous to speak against the king in Thailand. But you're speaking religiously. So I found this on the endblasphemylaws.org website. Um, Thailand has no official state religion. However, Theravada Buddhism receives significant government support and privileges, including protection of Buddhist beliefs from, quote, insult. The 2007 Constitution generally provides for freedom of speech. However, laws prohibiting speech likely to insult Buddhism and other religions remain in place. Um, the 1962 Shanga Act, amended in 1992, uh, specifically prohibits the defamation or insult of Buddhism and the Buddhist clergy. Violators of the law can face one year's imprisonment or fines up to what equates to about $667 USD. Um, there's also a penalty for the disturbance of religious places and services, and those can equate to up to seven years in prison or uh, several hundred dollars USD. So they have blasphemy laws. Yes. So great job, Buddhism. You're now getting closer and closer to Islam. We need a Buddhism on this panel. Buddhist. A we need an ex-Buddhist -Buddhist on this panel. Ex -Buddhist. Ex -Buddhist. Yes. Yeah, we need I would love to get. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I have something more to say, but I think we have another news about Buddhism, so yeah. I will save it for then. Okay, let's news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.